Milton Langenhoven is a three-time Paralympic champion who excels in the 200 and 400 meters, the long jump and the pentathlon. The South African competes in class 12 for visually impaired athletes. Hilton has albinism, a congenital disorder characterized by poor vision and a lack of skin and hair pigmentation. Sadly, in parts of South Africa, albinos face discrimination on a daily basis due to superstitions and traditional beliefs. People don't know normally what the albinism is all about. I think it's a battle that albinism is fighting at the moment all over the continent because in some parts of Africa, albino human beings has been killed um, to use the organs for, for muti and, and, and a whole lot of different rituals as well. Being the only albino in my family was a very difficult thing for me to overcome firstly. And then secondly, the first albino, the only albino in my community at that time was, was, was extremely difficult because children can be cruel um, when they're young and a lot of times, you understand, so... But then for me the big difficulty was that people, adults, were um, actually mocking me and make fun of me and that was, that was uh, extremely hard to, to, to take in. Hilton hails from Cape Town. Situated in the shadow of Table Mountain, this port city is a popular tourist destination and an important economic area of South Africa. When Hilton was young, this country was governed by the apartheid regime. Hilton had to contend with complex race issues growing up, as well as a troubled home life. His parents divorced when he was four, and he was moved from one family member to another. I don't have any um, memory spending with my, my dad, or spending time with him, playing kicking ball with him. I have a lot of memories with my mum. They were good memories, and it's, um, majority of it were bad memories, and the only way for them at that time I could have seen was by drinking or using alcohol extensively, and for me, it was the downfall of our family and the breaking down, so... When my mother couldn't take care of me, I was moved to my auntie and then my auntie handed me over to my great-grandmother and then a social worker came in and then took me from my great-grandmother and took me to a boarding school. Hilton flourished at boarding school and it was there where he first became involved with athletics. In 2004, age 21, he went to the Paralympic Games in Athens and secured a silver medal in the long jump. Four years later in Beijing, Hilton won three gold medals in the 200 meters, long jump and pentathlon. He also set two world records, one of which still stands. For me personally, it was overwhelming, you understand? And it was overwhelming in the sense that it was life-changing. And standing in front of 90,000 people and coming back home, where people will recognize you not as your name, but as that albino person that, that turned South Africa proud. I think that was one special moment for me. Yeah. Hilton trains with his coach Wayne Lombard six days a week, splitting his time between the track and the gym. The 32-year-old has around 10% of the vision that most people have due to the lack of melanin pigmentation in the retina of his eyes. Hilton struggles with bright lights, so he does a lot of his training indoors. Something that Hilton's really good at is his commitment to training. We can't argue with that. He really puts in 100% effort. He knows exactly what he wants to get out of his training. And he's really easy to work with in the sense that he will guide you on what he thinks he needs to work on. And then from the science perspective, we'll go and look at um, how to actually achieve those goals. In the lead up to the 2012 London Paralympics, two of Hilton's events were removed from the program and he had to take on a new discipline, the 400 meters. Despite having little time to prepare, he still managed to win a silver medal. 
the fact that they happened um, 14 months before the games, it was disappointing because within the cycle from 2008 towards 2012, I was still focusing on the long jump. I was still focusing on the pentathlon. So I decided to take on 400 meters, which was again a challenge for me. London came with these challenges. I went there in sublime form, which I believed in my heart that I can still, I can, could have go there and win the gold medal. But on the day it didn't work out, I won the silver medal. I was so disappointed that I stopped um, the 400 meters for a couple of years. Shortly after the London Paralympics, Hilton's fellow South African and the world's most high-profile Paralympian, Oscar Pistorius, was charged with the murder of his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. After a long court case, which made headlines around the world, Pistorius was found guilty of the lesser crime of culpable homicide and given a five-year prison sentence. He was released early from jail this week and put under house arrest. Many worried that the events surrounding the Pistorius case would have a negative effect on the Paralympic movement, particularly in South Africa. When the broke news, people were disappointed within the disabled movement, but people were shocked also about Oscars um, um, what what happened, you understand? So but I think we we are a sporting star less within the um, disabled sporting fraternity. But there's, there's many more athletes, as I said previously, there's more, many more athletes that, 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 that can contribute towards making South African disabled sport a bigger success than it was in the past. Last year, Hilton married Agnetha at a ceremony in the Western Cape. Whilst publicly he's inspired the albino and disabled communities in South Africa, Away from sport, Hilton's a very private, family-orientated man. I would say I've met my soulmate and I've met a wonderful person which, you know, which always stands there for me. I think she's a stronger person and I really, I really believe that I was a strong person because I had to overcome all these obstacles and fight and, and, and work my way through, through life and to be able to become um, or to where I am today. But I think with my wife on my side, it makes me a much better and a much stronger person as well. Hilton and Agnetha are now expecting a child. It's our first, so um, we're excited. Um, and he's very excited that it's a boy. So no, we are still debating on what sport he will be doing. Um, and we're still debating on the name. But um, yeah, we're just looking forward to the new arrival. We're welcoming a healthy baby. And um, yeah, he, I'm sure he'll bring us lots of joy. This week, Hilton will head to Doha for the IPC World Championships, where he hopes to successfully defend his long jump title. <laughs> looking further ahead, he has his sights set on Rio 2016 and more Paralympic glory. The immediate future is to go to Doha and go and perform well at the World Championships. Hopefully win another gold medal. I'm going in there as the defending champion. But I will not carry that hat as a defending champion. I'm going to go there and compete. And then I think long term, 14 months away, is the Paralympic Games next year in Rio. And I really want to make that a success. And I will not bow out as a loser, but I will go out as a champion. And then I want people to remember me as a champion. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.